Um, my name is Megan Hamlet. I am a registered nurse, but I am currently the manager of cardiovascular clinical operations here at the Central Heart and Vascular Institute in Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, I have worked in healthcare uh, for almost 12 years. I have been a registered nurse for almost 11 of those 12 years. Um, I am married to my high school sweetheart, um, almost 12 years now, and we have three beautiful boys. Our oldest son is 10, and our baby boy will be six this week. Um, born and raised here in Central Virginia on a beef cattle farm. Graduated from Lynchburg College, and love working in cardiology. Um, and as you'll hear throughout my story, um, my love for cardiology actually started with my own healthcare scare. When I was a sophomore in nursing school at Lynchburg College, um, actually in my anatomy class, um, or going through that course, I started to have palpitations and not far enough along in nursing school to really know um, rhythm issues, but far enough along in nursing school to know that that wasn't normal. So I could tell that my heart was racing, um, that it wasn't regular, and that I was lightheaded, I was dizzy, um, and that it was difficult for me to catch my breath. And so that lasted for over 24 hours, and I told my now husband, but then boyfriend, um, my parents were out of town, that something wasn't right, and that I needed to go to the doctor. So I went to um, Physician's Treatment Center, where they did an EKG, and they told me that I needed to go to the emergency room. Um, when I got to the emergency room, um, they told me I had atrial fibrillation. Um, I had no idea what that was, <laughs> um, but my heart rate was um, 150 plus beats a minute, and they told me they were gonna give me some medications to try to slow that down, but that if that was unsuccessful, they were going to sedate me and shock my heart back into the regular rhythm. Thankfully, we didn't have to do that. Um, they were able to give me the medications, slow it down enough, and send me home, and give me an appointment to come here to the office we're sitting in now, um, where I was able to start seeing the team of cardiologists here. I eventually ended up seeing Dr. Sackett, who was one of the two electrophysiologists that they had on staff at that point in time. Um, and he suggested that I have a procedure called a uh, cardiac ablation. Um, he also told me I didn't have atrial fibrillation, but I had atrial flutter, and that is basically the cousin of atrial fibrillation. It was successful. So fast forward um, quite a few years later um, to when I was pregnant with my third son, and I started to have the same symptoms again. And this time it was not atrial flutter, but a different rhythm called atrial tachycardia. Was able to have a very um, healthy baby boy. Um, and when he was six months old, um, at that point, I was here working as <laughs> one of the heart rhythm nurses with Dr. Sackett and Dr. Cook. Um, and Dr. Cook performed my second cardiac ablation. That has been successful. Um, no more issues to date and um, I'm very thankful for the care that they have given me. Um, if it wasn't for that experience as a 19 year old girl, I certainly would have been a nurse, but I don't know that I would have had the love that I do for cardiology. Running is a big part of what I do to stay healthy um, and working out every day is also important for me. I like to work out five days a week. I think the biggest thing I can tell people is just get outside, um, get fresh air, you know? <clears throat> go for a walk. You don't have to run. Um, sunshine is good for you. Fresh air is good for you. And just go for a walk. Um, that little bit of those endorphins that you get from just doing those things are so good, not just for you physically, um, your heart, but also just for your mental health, which we're seeing a lot of people struggle with um, this time, you know, through COVID and also this time of year, you know, this this season, um, winter is hard on people too. So I say sunshine is good for you, fresh air is good for you, and just go for a walk. That makes such a big difference.